Portugal, a land of Fathu, medieval castles, and sun-kissed coastlines, has a genetic tapestry that's as complex and fascinating as its history. You might think of Portugal as a small corner of Europe, but this tiny nation has been shaped by waves of migration, ancient conquests, and relentless cultural fusion that have left a surprising mark on its DNA. In this video, we'll dive into the fascinating origins of Portuguese genetics, uncovering layers of history that have created a truly unique population. For decades, scientists believed Portugal's genetics were mainly Iberian, meaning close ties to Spain. But recent genetic studies have turned this idea on its head, revealing influences far beyond the Iberian Peninsula. From the Celts to Romans, Moors, and even Sephardic Jews, each group has left a lasting imprint that researchers are only now beginning to fully understand. By exploring ancient DNA samples, scientists have pieced together a story that's as old as humanity itself, showcasing just how interconnected and surprising our genetic history can be. So, if you think you know the story of Portugal, think again. In this video, we'll uncover the distinct and often surprising origins of Portuguese genetics. Let's travel back through millennia, where each wave of settlers left a piece of themselves behind, adding to the mosaic of the modern Portuguese identity. From prehistoric settlers to the age of discovery, every chapter tells us something incredible about where the Portuguese people come from and how genetics revealed hidden truths about identity, belonging, and history. The origins of Portugal's genetics start deep in the prehistoric past, with some of Europe's earliest settlers calling the Iberian Peninsula home. Tens of thousands of years ago, long before the concept of Portugal or Spain existed, hunter-gatherer communities roamed these lands. They eventually settled, building societies that would become the foundation of the Portuguese gene pool. Archaeologists and geneticists have studied remains from these early populations, revealing a fascinating mix of genes that go back as far as the Paleolithic era. What's remarkable is that despite centuries of invasions, the DNA from these early settlers hasn't disappeared. Genetic studies show that a large portion of modern Portuguese DNA can still be traced to these prehistoric communities who lived, hunted, and thrived here thousands of years ago. It's evidence of a deep-rooted connection to the land, a continuity that is rare in today's fast-moving, interconnected world. But the Iberian roots go deeper. Around 7,000 years ago, the Neolithic Revolution brought farming to Europe, and along with it, new settlers from the Near East who introduced agriculture to the Iberian Peninsula. These early farmers mixed with the indigenous hunter-gatherers, creating a unique genetic blend that still influences Portuguese DNA. It's this blend of ancient hunter-gatherer and Near Eastern farmer DNA that laid the groundwork for the modern Portuguese people, setting the stage for the diverse genetic landscape that would follow. Fast forward a few thousand years, and we encounter the Celts, one of the most fascinating influences on Portuguese genetics. Around 700 to 500 BCE, Celtic tribes arrived from Central Europe, sweeping across the Iberian Peninsula and mixing with the indigenous Iberian people. The Celts left more than just cultural artifacts, they left a genetic imprint, particularly in the northwestern regions of Portugal, such as Galicia and the Mijo region. The Celtic influence is evident not only in Portuguese DNA, but also in cultural elements that survive to this day. Some of Portugal's traditional music, folklore, and even certain words can be traced back to these Celtic roots. In the Northwest, you'll still find echoes of the Celts in local traditions, symbols, and even some genetic markers that link the people there to ancient Celtic tribes. What's fascinating about the Celtic arrival is how they blended with the native Iberian populations rather than replacing them. This fusion created a unique genetic and cultural identity that set northern Portugal apart from other parts of the country. While other regions would see more Mediterranean and North African influences, the Celtic legacy in the North remains a distinctive part of Portugal's genetic heritage. In a way, the Celts were the first wave of foreign influence that would come to define Portugal's diverse genetic makeup. When the Romans arrived in the Iberian Peninsula around 218 BCE, they brought with them a new culture, language, and a major genetic shift that would impact Portugal for centuries. The Romans were determined to integrate Iberia into the heart of their empire, and they succeeded by establishing cities, trade routes, and a powerful cultural influence. 
With this colonization, the Romans also introduced new genes to the Portuguese population, thanks to the movement of people from all over the Roman Empire, from Italy to North Africa and the Eastern Mediterranean. This genetic mixing was accelerated by the Roman practice of settling retired soldiers and administrators in conquered lands. In Portugal, these settlers integrated with the local populations, adding diversity to the gene pool. Archaeologists have uncovered evidence of Roman towns and villas throughout the country, showing just how extensive their presence was. Through marriage and everyday life, Romans and Iberians blended, creating a hybrid population that carried traits from both groups. But the Roman impact wasn't just genetic, it also laid the foundation for the Portuguese language, which evolved from Latin, the Roman language. Over time, Latin roots fused with indigenous languages, giving rise to the early forms of Portuguese. The Roman legacy is still visible in Portugal's roads, architecture, and, of course, the language, which continues to connect Portugal to its Roman past in a deeply embedded way. This era marks a critical point in Portuguese genetics as it introduced a level of diversity that would shape the nation for generations. The arrival of the Moors in the 8th century marked one of the most transformative periods in Portuguese history, leaving a profound impact on both the culture and genetics of Portugal. In 711, Muslim forces from North Africa crossed into the Iberian Peninsula, swiftly establishing control over vast regions, including southern Portugal. For nearly seven centuries, Moorish influence permeated Portuguese life, from architecture and agriculture to language and, importantly, genetics. Genetic studies revealed that the Moors introduced North African DNA into the Portuguese gene pool, particularly in regions like the Algarve and Alentejo, where they held strong influence. This infusion is most visible in the genetic markers found in people from southern Portugal, who often share close genetic links with populations in North Africa. Interestingly, the impact of Moorish ancestry isn't limited to genetics alone. It also left visible traces in Portuguese culture. You can see this legacy in the architecture of cities like Sils and Faro, where intricate tile work and arched doorways echo North African styles. The Moors also transformed Portuguese agriculture, introducing crops like citrus, rice, and cotton, which thrived in Portugal's Mediterranean climate. They pioneered irrigation techniques that revolutionized farming in the region, some of which are still used today. Even the Portuguese language bears the marks of Moorish influence, words like almofada, pillow, azite, olive oil, and alface, lettuce, all trace back to Arabic origins. By the 15th century, the Reconquista brought an end to Muslim rule in Portugal, but the legacy of the Moors endures in both the people's DNA and their cultural heritage. In the southern regions, the genetic markers of North African ancestry are reminders of a time when Portugal was a meeting point between Europe and the Islamic world. The Moorish influence is a testament to Portugal's unique position on the Iberian Peninsula, where East met West, blending diverse cultures and genetics that still shape Portuguese identity today. Another significant yet often overlooked influence on Portuguese genetics comes from the Jewish communities, particularly the Sephardic Jews. For centuries, Jews thrived in Portugal, contributing to the country's intellectual, economic, and cultural life. Jewish communities were especially prominent in cities like Lisbon, Porto, and Evora. They played a vital role in fields such as medicine, trade, and finance, leaving an indelible mark on Portuguese society. Genetically, the Sephardic Jewish presence is woven into the DNA of modern Portuguese people, especially in regions where Jewish populations were historically concentrated. Recent genetic studies have shown that many Portuguese people, particularly those in the cities, carry traces of Sephardic Jewish ancestry, often through maternal lines. This genetic footprint is especially interesting because, in the late 15th century, the Inquisition forced many Jews to convert to Christianity or flee the country, leading to a legacy of hidden Jewish ancestry that persisted through generations. Despite these forced conversions, many Sephardic Jews maintained their customs in secret, preserving elements of their culture that subtly influenced Portuguese traditions, cuisine, and language. Even today, some Portuguese surnames are believed to have Jewish origins, hinting at this hidden heritage. Recently, 
Portugal has acknowledged this historic link, offering citizenship to descendants of Sephardic Jews as a way to honor their contributions to Portuguese history. The Sephardic Jewish influence is a fascinating chapter in Portugal's genetic story, illustrating how communities can leave a lasting legacy even under challenging circumstances. Through their resilience, Sephardic Jews added yet another layer to Portugal's genetic and cultural diversity. Today, as more people uncover their ancestry through DNA testing, there is a growing awareness of this heritage, adding a deeper dimension to what it means to be Portuguese. The Age of Discovery, which began in the 15th century, brought Portugal to the forefront of global exploration and set the stage for a new chapter in Portuguese genetics. As Portuguese explorers ventured down the African coast, across the Atlantic to the Americas, and even as far as Asia, they opened trade routes that would forever alter the Portuguese gene pool. This period marked the beginning of Atlantic slavery, where Portugal was a key player, and this brought an influx of African genetic influence into the country. In cities like Lisbon, which became major hubs for trade, you'll find a rich blend of African, European, and even Asian ancestry. Genetic studies show that many Portuguese people, particularly those from coastal regions, have genetic markers tied to West African ancestry. This influence came primarily through the enslaved Africans who were brought to Portugal to work in agriculture, construction, and as domestic workers. Although their lives were marked by hardship, they became an integral part of Portuguese society, leaving a genetic legacy that persists today. This African influence goes beyond DNA, it's also embedded in Portuguese culture. You can see it in music, with rhythms and instruments that have African origins, and in cuisine, with dishes like caldo verde and fajota that reflect African culinary traditions. Today, Portugal's African heritage is recognized and celebrated, with festivals and community events that honor this important part of Portuguese identity. The genetic legacy of the Atlantic trade reminds us of the complexities of Portugal's past, a history that includes both exploration and exploitation. While it's a challenging part of the story, it's essential for understanding the diversity of the Portuguese people. Through this period, Portugal became a true melting pot, with African ancestry woven into the fabric of its society, enriching the culture in ways that are still felt today. Thanks to advancements in genetic research, scientists today are uncovering even more unexpected connections within Portuguese DNA. Modern studies reveal that Portugal's genetic profile shares surprising links with other populations, especially around the Mediterranean and the Atlantic. For instance, genetic markers in Portuguese DNA show a strong affinity with other Atlantic populations, like the Basques, Galicians, and even the Irish and British. This connection likely dates back to ancient trade routes and migrations that crisscrossed the Atlantic and Mediterranean regions. One surprising finding is the extent to which Portuguese DNA overlaps with populations from the British Isles. Some scientists believe this connection goes back to the Bronze Age, when Atlantic trade networks linked these distant regions. These genetic links reveal that, even thousands of years ago, human populations were more interconnected than we might assume. This makes Portuguese genetics a fascinating puzzle, reflecting a mix of Mediterranean and Atlantic influences that go back to prehistory. These genetic studies are also helping researchers trace the movement of specific populations over time, shedding light on how different groups migrated, settled, and integrated. For Portugal, these findings underscore just how interconnected its genetic story is with that of neighboring regions. It's a reminder that even in ancient times, people were moving, trading, and blending cultures across continents. In Portugal's DNA, we find a microcosm of human history, showcasing the complex web of relationships that has shaped populations across Europe and beyond. These genetic connections provide a richer understanding of Portuguese identity, revealing the nation's role as a bridge between cultures and a testament to the shared human experience that connects us all. As we've journeyed through the genetic history of Portugal, it's clear that this small country has been shaped by a remarkable range of influences. From the prehistoric inhabitants to the Celts, Romans, Moors, Sephardic Jews, Africans, and beyond, each wave of people left their mark, creating a genetic mosaic that's as diverse as it is unique. 
the DNA of the Portuguese people tells a story of resilience, adaptation, and a deep connection to the land and sea that have always defined this nation. Understanding the genetic origins of the Portuguese is more than just a scientific exploration, it's a journey into what it means to be Portuguese. It reveals that identity isn't confined by borders or eras, it's a tapestry woven from countless stories, some of which are visible in our traditions, language, and daily lives, while others are hidden in our very selves. For the Portuguese people, this genetic diversity is a source of pride and curiosity, a testament to a history that has both challenged and enriched them. In today's world, where people are exploring their roots more than ever before, Portugal's genetic history offers a powerful example of how interconnected we all are. It shows that nations are built on layers of shared history, and that, in many ways, we're all products of the same global journey. The genetic story of Portugal is a reminder that our identities are both unique and universal, shaped by centuries of migration, exploration, and exchange. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the hidden history of Portuguese genetics, a story that is, ultimately, part of the larger story of humanity.